we have opportunities once you become a licensed physician in your second and third year um, to moonlight in the emergency room and urgent cares throughout our Mercy system. Our moonlighting program here was a huge draw to me. Um, I've talked with a lot of docs that are kind of out in practice. Um, you know, for an example, some of our hospitalists and talk with them about what the most valuable parts of their residency were. And um, one thing I've heard numerous people kind of reiterate is that when they first started to moonlight, to get out on their own and kind of um, work independently on their own, that's when they learned. You have the opportunity to do as much or as little as you want, and it's at places that are going to be very similar to the places that you're going to be practicing. I think that's one of our strongest foundations of our program is that we have this moonlighting opportunity that you have two years of several hours each week that you can spend to working under your own license, under your own abilities. Um, so when you step out on day one, it's not the first time that you had to make a medical decision without an attending physician sitting next to you. A big draw here is that you're able to moonlight, you're able to get out on your own. That way, um, when you finish here and you're in your own practice, you already have that experience under your belt. Because I've had that chance to moonlight, I, I just, I feel like I've seen so many different things come in the door that even if I know I can't fix it, I know what to do with it. When you are moonlighting, there are people to call and we have opportunities for help. You're not stranded on your own. Many of us fellow residents call each other for advice and we have, very many, we have many specialists that we can always call if we ever need their help. I'm grateful that my attending physicians of uh, the program have given me that opportunity to, to, to stretch a little bit to see um, where I can, I can best do this work. 